Oh God. Oh no, Kyle. Oh, it's done. Well, ladies and freaking gentlemen, today is a very sad day. We got the X3 out. You guys have not seen a riding video with the X3. I just bought it and well, it's broke. Now, a little backstory to what happened. Where's my tripod? Now, what actually happened to the X3, you guys will see at the end of the video. I just wanna come on here and clarify, I really did not wanna post this video. Not because it broke, but because my energy was down. What had happened was, got the X3, immediately, we went to ride. Got home at like 9 p.m., been driving all freaking day. I was tired, but the boys were having a night ride over at Cody's house, I was like, I'm game for that, I'm going. So I went, I broke it in, had a little fun during the night, and the next morning I was tired, I was beat. You know, for the first ride on this thing, I wanted my energy to be through the roof because it was freaking insane riding this thing and it wasn't. So my energy is down, the video's not the best, and I was really wanting the first ride on this thing to be epic. I guess it was, we broke it. Also, when it did break, my heart was broken. It's still broken right now, honestly, because what had happened was so stupid. You guys will see that towards the end of the video. If you guys want to click through the video, go for it. The video, like I said, might not be the best. We got some epic stuff coming with this thing, but it was a sad day that day, and my heart was hurting. Keep that in mind. Anyway, I'm gonna roll the video towards the end of the video. Whenever this thing does break, I'm gonna come back on and explain and show and talk about what had happened. See, what will happen was... Good morning, ladies and freaking gentlemen. As you guys know, yesterday, we purchased a very nice unit. We got the old X3 right here. It's muddy. It's got 10 miles on it already. We went for a night ride. I broke it in last night. You know, just taking it easy, running it slow. Break it, broke it in, and now it is ready to rip. We got Kyle installing his snorkels right here. Go ahead and get those bad boys on. File file our nails, boys. You gonna go deep with it? Probably about yay deep. Oh no, Kyle. Yay deep, yay deep. Cody! Yeah. You sending it? I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna send it. <laughs> on the new Renegade? Yeah, we got our dirty last night. It might have went through a mud hole or two, but it just got it just got a little little mud, not much. Had to have a little one-on-one -on -one time. Sir, how was the night ride? The night ride was a good ride. We had some fun. Put about oh, 10 miles on it. almost got him stuck. Almost got me stuck. It wasn't was close. He crawled right through it. I didn't film last night because it was it was dark, and uh, you know, it was just a breaking period, so I was taking it slow, being easy on it. But we got about 10 miles on it. I'm calling her A-OK -okay and solid. Cody! 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 would do again. So you guys have not seen the X3 in like all its glory yet. It's so freaking bad. I freaking love it. We have so many videos coming with it. I just want to get out and ride right now. So that's the plan. So you guys are going to have to watch one riding video and then we're just going to go into detail with everything and really show you guys what the X3 has to offer. But anyway, we got a little group. We got Cody's 1000 Renegade, a 850 Pan Am XMR Outlander. And then a 570 Outlander XMR, so it's gonna be a good day. So stay tuned, y'all. We might even head to the lake. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Move, I'm trying to go. You ready? Yeah, I move. Hello, let's go. Woo! 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 Seat belts. Seat belts. Seat belts. Seat belts. Water's gonna be falling out of this thing. We washed it last night at 2 a.m. It's still wet. Oh, my don't know why. All right, I'm not even gonna stop it. All right. A wheelie. Them boys can wheelie these things. Well, boys, we are headed to the trails. No clue where we're at. Well, they just got gas. I was still full from last night. I go hit the trails, go run around, see what's this. We'll see what's up. This thing's an absolute insane beast. I wish I was filming like my first reactions to it. This thing is freaking insane, Miller. Like when I say it's insane, I mean you stomp it, you are holding on and gritting your teeth. Like all four tires digging, just, uh, it's crazy. We're gonna get muddy, Miller, just so you know. Oh God. Oh, yep. It just it's creeps right drive. through. Yeah, it's two wheel drive. <laughs> it's in high too. I mean, put it in low. This is high? Yeah, this is high. Oh, that right side's oh. buried. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. We're yeah. Two wheel. He said two wheel drive. Two wheel drive and high. It is insane, bro. This is nice. This thing's awesome. Are they stuck? Grayson. I can't see behind me. Grayson. Grayson. Oh, Grayson on the Renegade. <laughs> I think that one suits you better. 
<laughs> they get it. I can't see behind me. This is bullshit. This is definitely the baddest side by side. Am I gonna be able to go up that? Yeah. It looks tight. Should we try it in two wheel drive first? Nah, I'm gonna try it in two wheel drive. Look how tight it is. You see how the, that is the problem that the full the fuller's got the rut made. Yeah. Oh, he can't get up it. <laughs> that that's oh freaking stupid. God. There it is. Nice. Let's go. Dude, it crawled up it. Well, boys, first first problem of the day, this thing just creeped right up it like it's not even an issue. Yeah, like it's so hard to find challenges for it. Like I noticed last night, I mean, we didn't do anything too insane, but I mean, it was just creeping through everything. I never took any effort to get through nothing. Yesterday, I was going around all the water. Now, today, I just don't even give a shit. It's such a cruiser, though. Other than mud getting thrown in, you just drink, do whatever. Coca-Cola, of course. Yeah, drink a Dr. Pepper, of course. And the throttle's really smooth. Is it? Yes, but if you like, if you just, it just fuck, it unleashes everything when you romp on it just a little bit. But as long as you go into it slowly, it's pretty smooth. But 195 horse will do that. I feel like everybody's gotta love the X3 Miller. I'm loving it. I'm actually in love with it. This thing just rides so smooth, has so much power. And even, even just cruising, it makes cruising like these trails, it makes them like you can just ride them all day. I mean, it's so smooth and easy. Your dad's gonna like riding with you. <laughs> I'm gonna straighten out his back. This thing's gonna have so much g-force. <laughs> See that log? It's a pretty big log. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's not to the floor. That wasn't. To the no, that was not to the floor. The hell? Absolutely hey, insane. And it was two wheel drive, so we we're spinning a lot. Four wheel drive is another animal. Really? That's when you can't hold on. Let me throw in four wheel drive for you real quick. Are you holding on, Miller? Yep. <laughs> yeah yeah what yeah i told what? you that's what i was saying i had to get one <laughs> it's ridiculous ain't it and that wasn't like to the full that wasn't like to the floor and just holding it down or anything that was just like a little romp on it yeah this would be very interesting oh my gosh let's look at it before i send this expensive brand new machine down it we got it i got it no dude it'll do it it'll do it it was fine if you want to stay down there and steer me, I can't see where my front wheels are. Are uh, you coming a foot from the drop? I just allow you about to drop. It's close, so you good? Miller. Hey. <laughs> camera work, guys. Woo! Oh my God! You're good. Yeah. Are you filming? Yeah. All right, you're in. There we go. There we go. Oh, look, he's testing the snorkels. Hi. Oh, no, Kyle. Bro, that was sketchy when the front tire came up off the ground. Oh, yeah. Look at him. He's down in that sand. He's going to get stuck. Yeah, well, he's floating pretty good. Two-wheel drive, actually. Two-wheel drive? Yeah. That's sand. There's sand under us, so I'll throw it in four wheel. <laughs> what? I don't even like, I hate doing hills in like a side by side or like a four wheeler. A dirt bike, that'd be easy peasy. I'm just gonna take it up this little trail. It's like the big highway. <laughs> it's a lot scarier going down. I can't see because I feel like I'm gonna hit this big left right. What's your felt about that rain rut? Dude, this is this is the hill. Yeah. <laughs> dirt the bikes, hill. bro. I'll take anything. I'll take go up any hill on a dirt bike. Yeah. This thing, yeah. That's just. It's almost like a trail at the deer club, kind of. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Where are we headed? This thing literally makes everything so easy. I mean, there's like a few like sharp turns on hills and stuff. It's not, but still doable. I cannot wait to start mudding this thing and taking it in deep water. It's going to be so much fun. I already found a pond I want to take it through. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
<laughs> We're riding this wall right here. Yeah. So smooth too, bro. Just so smooth. It's so fucking funny, dude. It reminds me of like a spider the way it just walks. Yeah. Bro, we are like on an adventure right yeah, now. Supposedly we're going to a lake or something. I'm ready to feel some cold water. 10,000 likes, I will take the X3 through the lake. Really? Sorry guys, I got like three hours of sleep last night from the night ride. So I'm sorry if I don't, if you guys don't think I'm all there. There's so much like filming content here at Cody's, it's ridiculous. There's so much cool stuff I can't wait to show you guys. What the heck? Bro. We're under a highway right now. <laughs> Yo, that's sick. Literally, two big bridges on a highway we're going under. Look, there's some more people. Oh, hell yeah. This is crazy. Yo! This is crazy. We're under a highway right now, bro. Yeah. Under a highway. Uh-oh, that's a steep hill. She didn't want to do it or something. We could crawl up right there, but then that tree's in the way. Oh yeah, I busted my funny bone on the door. I smelled belt there for a second when I had it in hot and was about to go up it. Yeah, it's cooking hot right here in the sun. Oh, the water at the lake's gonna feel so good. <laughs> I'm so happy I broke it in last night so we could ride and film today. Oh, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> it gets up and goes so fast. What is all this concrete out here? We're in a concrete jungle, son. What are y'all thinking about the X3? You guys like it? This thing's freaking wild. I cannot wait. We're gonna have so many videos on this thing. Oh, we're on a sidewalk. No. There he is. Look at his wheels wobbling. That's not good. Look at his wheels wobbling. That's not good. Where are we? We're in the middle of town. Literally. This is not okay. What are they doing? We're just in the middle of town? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a funny looking boat you got there. Yeah, damn straight it's a funny looking boat. What was that person saying? His wheel fell off. His wheel fell off? Oh shit. I didn't know we called that. We literally called I seen it, but I didn't think nothing of it. I thought his wheel was like just out of balance. Dude, I seen it wobbling. I didn't think much of it. Did the lug nuts come off? Yep. Oh my oh, goodness. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, is that the lake? Holy crap. Bro, that's the lake. The water looks up. There's a pontoon boat right there. The pontoon boat just right there. Well, let's get out, Miller. Let's go look at the lake. There's normally a beach here. Yeah? A week of rain, I mean. Oh, sorry. It's gone. It's so disappointing. I was looking forward to donuts on the sand. Yeah, yeah, that would have been great. Future projects. We'll get a little swimming though. Yeah, get a little, get, get a little wet. <laughs> Braden, <laughs> he's just driving in there. That's as deep as it gets. Oh gosh. Hi. Oh no, Kyle. Oh, it's done. Braden, where's your phone at, Braden? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, think it's gonna be that deep. I did not think it was gonna be that deep either. Oh my oh god, my that god. was sketchy. Oh, hey, your snorkels work. Yeah. Hey, the snorkels work. You're crazy. Snork. I definitely checked your. Yo, I it's definitely a little. <laughs> you went through. Where did you go through? At? Right around in here. Yeah. Dip deep. <laughs> Pity's deep. Look at that. Yeah. I cannot believe that. Shit. Oh, it gets deeper. That man's crazy. Jeez. Sometimes it can be a lot to handle a big bike like that if there's two people handle it in the water. Sometimes it's bad. Braden, that was sketchy. I, I got there in time. That would have been fun. <laughs> dude. That was sketchy, dude. That deep, son. That is what we were saying straight up to keep those snorkels. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, or it was floating. Or it was yeah. floating. Installed those snorkels like what, 30 minutes? The 45 time. minutes ago. Those were like like this far from going under. Probably about yay deep. Yay deep. Yay deep. Dude, Dude, I, that was I thought so they went sketchy. under for a second. Did you drain your belt? You were already no, bragging. Really? I don't know. Really? What are you doing? I had to make sure the snorkels were sealed. We're into the <laughs> can ammo or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what kind of fish is that? <laughs> what kind of fish are you, dude? 
Dude, it's one of those sea dogs. All right, boys. Oh, we're headed away from the lake. What? He about sunk it. Dude, that was just like, snorkeled it about sunk it. Was like that far off the water, dude. Probably about yay deep. I wish he had a GoPro on. That was insane. Anyway, the lake was up. That kind of killed the vibe. So we're headed out. What you thinking about the X3? Dude, it it performs so much better than I thought. I feel like we got some upcoming videos with this thing that are literally gonna blow y'all's minds. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. You good, dude? Did it? Good? Yeah, it took it. Hit the metal pretty hard. Whatever. It happens. First, hey. scratch. You gotta have to back up. Back up left. Fuck it, I'm just gonna put it full drive. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy biscuits, Bobs. Yeah. You got it. Oh my god. You got it. Oh boy. I back up just a tad, then hit it hard. Cody! That's crazy, man. Dude, this is nuts. Gotta hit her. <laughs> <laughs> eats, though. My eats, though, Brayden. That thing does eat, son. Dude, Brayden, you hit me in the stomach with a piece of I butt. I hit him, too, if I Oh, really? Bet. Mud? Did somebody say mud? Oh, yeah. Drop off. We'll get some sick shots. Y'all need to send it. Let's go through this? Yeah. Gosh, hey, did it? Did it smoke any off the belt? No. Okay. The seats are floating up. What? What the hell are snorkels good for, bro? Freaking epic! What you think, <laughs> dude? Two wheel drive. Two wheel Holy drive. Crap. Just saying in it, son. Just I mean, walks. Walk right It's because I was helping paddle. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, for sure. Crazy. I know the snorkel never went under. Man. Oh no. I'm pissed. The belt got wet. They can't snorkel a belt. Can't. How the f they gonna plan on snorkeling an airbox? Yep. It's not a Honda. How can I trust it? And it. Oh, oh he just made it. no way! 
butthole's not as bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, what? I, I, I didn't want to break my dick. No, are you doing it? Are you doing it? The dip destroyer. The dip, dip destroyer. destroyer. Should we try it? We'll put it in four wheel drive just for the lulls. Somebody hook a rope to me. Tiger, tell me. I can't get out. Did it smoke up? I started to at the end. Whenever oh, I'm staying on it. What? I mean, not bad. Um, uh, That's just steep, bro. Yeah. From what? The motor's back there. Dude, there's no plug in your belt box. Yeah. What? Ready? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. Figured out why why his belt got wet. Oh kinda need a drain plug, but there's no drain plug in it? I don't think so. That's what it felt like. Oh it screws it. Yeah, so how did it come out? Unless they just didn't put one in it. Oh I don't know, dude. Yeah, the dip destroyer was going for the belts today. Yep. <laughs> What'd you think, B? Oh we ain't got no other choice. Flip it home. Yep. Head back. Belt man. Whatever. I just hope it's not going to mess with the clutch or anything. Well, guys, this is some BS. The belt was slipping the first time I took it in that hole, and I was like, this is a brand new belt. Uh, obviously, water's getting into it. And it wasn't slipping bad. I just assumed it had a slow leak. It hit that hole, and I had to get pulled out. And, like, literally didn't even have a plug in it. Oh, uh, we can just go back and wash up and head out. As we're headed back. After finding out this, sorry if I seem mad, I'm, I'm pretty pissed, but uh, we're headed back. I'm going to have to either order one of those or have somebody ship one to me real fast. And uh, we'll get started, clean all that gunk out, and hopefully get to ride this thing again soon. What? Miller, take the camera. It's outro time. Okay. So, if you guys seen, there is no drain plug in the air box. Look, none. The belt's toast, $170 later. Miller, where's it at? We got Evolution Power Sports most badass belt. Badass CVT belt, see? Badass belt. Best belts on the market. I'll put that to the test. Anyhow, yeah, I gotta go in this thing. I gotta take off the entire belt housing cover. It's really easy to change a belt, but I gotta go in there and clean everything. It's so stupid that this happened. Now everyone's gonna go and say, oh, Performance East, the dealership, it's their fault. It is not. It's actually Can-Am's fault. This is a Can-Am issue. I went to Iron Horse, I talked to my buddy Austin who works there. He says, yeah, they ship them with the drain plugs already in. So they come crated with the drain plug in it. But Can-Am didn't put one in it. So it cost me like $170. And would this stuff, would this be warrantied? Uh, it would be warrantied and I have proof. We gotta find the picture, Miller. So, the first day we got this thing, we went and took pictures of it, right? Here's a picture Miller took. If you zoom in, there's no freaking plug in the belt box housing. There's proof it's Can-Am's fault. Would it have been warrantied? It would have been warrantied. Would they go in here and clean everything themselves? Yeah, they probably would. Do I have time to take it to the dealership and do that? No, I do not. I'm gonna have to do it myself. So, that's what we're doing today. By today, I mean the next video y'all are gonna watch, because we have ordered so many parts for this thing, we're about to just break out a whole build series on this bad mamma jamma. Can-Am X3 Stage 1 build is about to happen. We're not doing motor work yet, that's coming, exhaust tune, yeah, that's waiting, but we got so many other goodies for this thing. It's like Christmas, so you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for that. But anyway, like I was saying, not the dealership's fault, Can-Am's fault, it would be warrantied. I got proof, they, I, I wanna see if they would back their warranty. With my luck, I would go to have it warrantied, and even with proof of it coming from the dealership with no plug in it, I feel like they wouldn't warranty it. It's just my luck, I've had bad luck with warranties, and that's why I only got a one year warranty on this son of a gun. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the work myself. I don't have time to mess with it. Everybody's so busy right now, it's just, I'd rather do it myself and get this thing over with. But like I said, if you guys see towards the end of the video, I was really upset, I wasn't talking, I was sad. 
you know, usually, you know, YouTubers, oh, I broke it, yeah, you know, let's go, it's a million views, but I was just, my heart, man, we were supposed to ride all day, there's so many things we didn't get to do. Anyhow, I got to get to work on this thing. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, put it down in the comments. There's a lot of videos that just don't turn out how I want them to. I just do away with them. This was almost one of them, but I felt like it was my duty to show you guys because I like to show when things break. And it's not because, of, oh, I broke it, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's more so to show you the reliability of stuff. And uh, this thing really did surprise me. This belt box was full of water. Probably 50% of the time we were riding because there's no plug in it. And the belt held up amazing. The belt's totally effed now, but throughout the day it did fine. Uh, I had it in water the night before, so I mean, this belt was cooking. But the belt held up great. Right now, it still works, it's just really rough, so. Also, if you can see that rock we hit, Miller, get down here. Now it's not covered in mud. You guys oh, can see that. Oh, man. That's a bigger thing than I thought. <laughs> it happens. Nothing we can do about it. But, uh, yeah, guys. She's ready to get full scent. Mud bash is in a week. So, uh, guys, like, subscribe. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes. Sorry it wasn't as epic as I was hoping it to be. I had to show you guys the failures. Companies can mess up from factory. You need to check over everything. I was so excited I didn't check everything like I should have. Uh, the Outlander had no issues with it, so I just, I trusted this and my trust let me down. So uh, yeah, I gotta get to work on this thing. Like, subscribe, let's get this video to 10,000 likes and I will catch you guys on the next one.